Look at this place. Ain't it beautiful, Caleb? Look at the rain and the fog and the mud. And I remember I got shot here, God damn it. Yeah. Yeah, well, we don't have shaky with us. We ain't gonna be causing any shit. My gut still hurts. You know, I was lucky. He says I was shot in the fat and tissue. My gut hurts though. The bullet, I guess, was uh, a ricochet. and didn't go too deep. Makes me think, maybe there was a ricochet off my belt. Let's try to just keep the quiet side today. Sounds I don't good. have much ammunition. Not after yesterday. Oh, you made 10 bucks just now, so that's good. Ah, uh, 20 bucks. You told me so too. That's good. How you doing? Howdy, fellas. Howdy. This guy right here local? The hat? Yeah, he's local. I don't give my distance. He smells bad. Gotta keep your distance in this place. That's for sure. How y'all doing tonight? I'm doing, doing good. Doing fine, thank you. You know the, uh, the owner of this place? Fine establishment. Man who works behind the bar. Mustache. Yeah, 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 I'm familiar with what you need. Is he uh, around? Just wanted, just wanted to talk to him, that's all, business-wise. He's uh, uh, slightly yeah. occupied, and he, he might be back for a half a moment before he lays his head down. If you want, I can yeah. try and track him down here quick for you. I appreciate that. We could be around to the next train comes through. Yeah, yeah. The train's running today. Yeah, yeah, I saw, I saw a few earlier. I guess they're like exporting coal or whatever from uh, Annisburg and such. Yeah, coal and other things, maybe. Hey, boy. Well, the man on the train was saying they uh, export more than just coal and stuff. Did he specify? No, but I'm guessing it's gold and stuff. He said money. He says he's a lot of money. Interesting. So I'm yeah. thinking if, if someone was going to do a job like that, you're going to need at least ten men. All right, six good men. Well, if people know what they're doing, then yes. Knows they're going to have a safe on that train, so we're going to need somebody who can crack safes. You think it's ahead pretty far, Caleb West. I think... I think we need to make friends first before we think about jobs that big. Well, we already making friends, that's right, Con. Are you right, I guess. What's your name? Me. Uh-huh. Uh, you can call me Charles. Charles, nice to meet you. I'm Connor. Hey, nice to meet you. Likewise. Beer, uh... Barman should be around at some point soon. Hopefully not too long. That's good to hear. Or friends, you still a little tied up. Is there a message I can deliver for you? No, no, it's fine. We can wait around for a while. Yeah. What's your I name, I... by the way? Don't mind me asking. Yeah, no worry. My name's Henry. You are... And we're nice to meet you. I think I may have met you. I think. I'm Wait Connor Cree. Yeah, I feel like we, uh, it was that fucking scientist or something like that, or doctor or something like that. We went for a little ride with him one day. Yeah, I think so. His name was Mr. Winhelm. He's a peckerhead. Uh, yeah, Henry, yeah. I think I was with you too that day. That's right, you paying us or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's me, yes, Caleb. Yeah, it was me who paid you, fellas. Well, tried to pay you, fellas, but you wouldn't take it. That's what it was. That's what. Yeah, you had to deliver something off to Mr. Wilhelm. That's right. That's right, yes. I just want to look around his creepy old little cabin there in the woods. Where hell you been? It's been a fucking dog's age. Yeah, I've been busy, friend. You know, this, that, the other. Oh, I try. I try. Well, it's good to see you again, Henry. I thought I recognized that voice. Been uh, a long I time. Think I, yeah, stick it like sort of. I've been there to the county for a little bit. I just had to keep my... 
Lay my head a little low as it were. You know. I went to Sisica for a couple months. Ah, oh, hell. Ah, uh, sorry to hear that. I guess it's, it wasn't too bad, I guess. I mean, it wasn't great, but it was better than sleeping in a tent. Well, it's certainly no vacation spot, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, it was sure it made me work a lot. They also hit me a lot because I has a temper. It says I'm a peckerhead. Ain't wrong there. Yeah, as long as you don't believe the old saying of uh, you are what you eat, right? Hey, Henry, I have a question for you. I'll need yeah, help with something. You... Maybe I can pay you. I'll need help just catching a guy for a good old beatdown. He real pissed me off real bad. We ain't gonna kill him. Don't worry, we just no, need I a little word. No, I don't you do with him. What, what were you looking for? Well, just an extra guy, just in case he's slippery. Some some bitch from the Mama's Boys gang. Name... Tommy Roach, he robbed me and his friends. Tommy Roach. He smells bad, he looks ugly, he's red hair, got black hair, and he's got real fucked up face covered in scars. All puffy. Hmm. Mm hmm. He go by any other names? I don't know. Mama's boys? <laughs> Probably, I would say. I know what he looks like now. I know what his mama looks like now as well. I think I'd like to watch, have his mama watch me beat his ass for him, since she ain't beat his ass anyways. Well, well how's about you Robin can people? tie his mother up and make her watch you beat him up then? So what do you say, Henry? That's a good idea as well. I was just going to say, he's going around robbing people with his mama or what? His mama, I guess, and maybe his brothers, I assume, because they're mama's boys. Ah, uh, hey, well, let's train that right the fuck you. If I do see him all, uh, you got a place you want to deliver to or what? Uh, uh, well, Henry, don't do anything stupid. You this don't... man ain't somebody to mess with. And wait for us to get together, because, uh, unless you got some boys, uh, oh, find well, me. I got, I got friends. Ooh, I'll pay you guys good then. But, uh, find me in Valentine. I ain't sending telegrams because I can't read. No rap. Hey, you think if I sent you one, that uh, failure over there might be able to read it for you, or what? I you sent it to Caleb. Oh yeah, that work. Here, yeah, let me let me take a second I, here. I, I, I don't I don't have my goddamn telegraph number. Hey, shit. Well, I'll my telegram in. number I don't have a clue what it is. I ain't been to the goddamn post office for so long. How does it sound if I pay each of you boys fifty dollars to help me out of this? Like each well, each each of the boys you bring, uh, if you can get them together uh, right now, we can go ride and look for him. It'll be fifty dollars if I can convince him a way to come willingly. If I have to uh, uh, undo any sort of force on him, it'll be a hundred dollars. I have five hundred to myself at the moment. So, uh, but I want to be there as well. So I'll be coming along. Oh, yeah. I'll no be right back. No go to the toilet. I said, uh, my. My currency is a little tied up in physical assets at the moment, as it were. No worries. But I'll pay you nonetheless. It's worth it to me to see his pecker head smacking a rock on the ground. Well, where in the world did he end up robbing you at? I was inside the, the store in Rhodes. He just walks in there, puts a gun to you, and robs you? He hit me in the face first of his gun, and then he pointed it. And then he hit me again, and then they broke me, and then they hit me again, and then they took all my stuff. And then I walked away after that. I'm real pissed. Yeah, I don't blame you. We'll get that shit sorted right out. Well, I appreciate that, Henry. I do. I got no time for folk going around. Fucking, oh, I should be busting off. I appreciate my beer first. Stay inside, stay inside. They start pulling guns, I'll start shooting. Watch out. Go away. Got him.
Henry, you down? You down, Henry? Over there, watch out. Up, I have you up in no time. Yeah. <sighs> Took quite a goddamn knock there. Damn outhouse come back and everyone was goddamn shot up. Yes, it's up. It's up. All right. Shit, sorry, me step on you. We'll do that from time to time. Oh, God, fuck. How's you feeling? Kind of outside. Out back. What? <clears throat> Fancy little watch there. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. What is it? Are you whispering right now? I Listen am. Listen to me. Whisper. How many bottles you got left? Three? I got two. All right. Well, give me them. I'll sell them all in both. Five bottles. Sounds good. Tell me we have more for later. I will tell him this is just a taster. We got some more. It's real good stuff. Make sure he likes it. Come on, Rich. You grazed me good. Take mine. It's just outside. Your horse? You, need, you rode here on a train. Oh, shit, yeah, I came here on a train. Sorry, lady. Um, no, my horse is here. I get them out. I forgot about that. I think I put down most of them in this room today. Kind of damn waste of fucking lives. Something seems to happen now. All right, you wanted to talk? Uh-huh. Very well. You know the moonshine stuff? Mm-hmm. I have a couple bottles for you to taste right now, if you want to taste them. A little taste test. You let me know I what will. you think. The good, well, the good news is that you have that, but bad news is I don't have enough to, uh, to buy any right now. I can definitely have a taste. All right, when I give you a bottle, you taste it, you give me it back. <sighs> I think you're fine. That's the finest moonshine that you'll get out here. Oh, it's a pretty strong sale. I was gonna say, it sounds like what everybody says. Kill him. <clears throat> ooh, ooh. I had some boys work on that for a couple of days. It took a long time. Oof, yes. That is good. Glad to hear. Yes. 
It's all right. By the way, I was never got your names. I didn't ask last time. The bomber. The bomber. It's fine. All right. Everyone knows me as such. So I believe uh, next week or so we may be opening up to more purchases. But uh, for this week we are we have already been filled our quota. So I must to uh, sell some more before I'm able to buy some more. I mean, now. is it is it good enough for you? You like that? Oh, I do. Yes, strong. it is. Um, I, I'm pretty sure. We don't need much here. Uh, Van Horn is very is not very picky when it comes to moonshine. All right. Well, we 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 uh we took some time on this. We uh added a couple of extra things that maybe other people ain't make it stronger. Okay. But we don't that? want to talk about what's in it. Oh, okay. We All want right. to talk about prices. How much and how many would you need? Well, uh, when we are purchasing again, I could give you 300 for 50. 300 for 50? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we'll think about that, won't we? Very well. I guess. <laughs> you hanging in there, Connor? My arm hurts. I'm fine. It's just grace. But I'm guessing we can strike up some deal. We just got to talk to our other people. We have a couple people working on this now. As you can tell, it's probably Wonderful. a little hard for two people to do this. Right. So money has to be split equally. Yes. Well, um, the good news is you have a disinfectant that could help you with that wound. And it tastes good. That's right. I, I guess he's right about that. Yes. So um, I would take care of yours for now, and then next week we could also take care of you. How about that? Sounds good. Right. Yeah, that sounds fine. All right. We're just going to hang around here for a while. We're waiting for the train to come back to us. We're just going to ride. Oh, yes. Here. You, you, came out, you came from the train? Yeah, the train's running today. That's right. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yep, so if you want to... You know, go down west or yeah, something. Yeah, I'm probably gonna read off. Yeah, go lay me head down in Valentine. All right. Best yeah, it's nice, yeah, yes. nice to see you again. And I'll take care. Well, so well, man, for your own. Can I get the Tennessee whiskeys you had some back there? Yes. She right. Reach across you, get my money out. I'll take a beer as well. Very well. I buy it for him this time since he thinks I ain't good enough for him. Buy me beer, holy shit. Yeah, yeah he's you, turning into a nice man. He said, I just gotta be more friendly to people because I just got a temper and I'm too mean. Did I say that really? He said something along them lines. Nah, I don't think I meant it. I don't think you called me a peckerhead is what you said. Hey, what? Yeah, Connie, you've always been a peck of hand. Shut your mouth. Thank you for the beer, though. Yes, of course. Well, shit, I put three, six, about ten men to the graves today. Well, shit, I should become an undertaker. So's, uh... Thank you for helping. Yes, you're welcome. I fancy found out who, uh... This cattleman fellow was that you were talking about. Right. That's right. He's in jail now, from what I understand. I don't think he's inside now. Really? I mean, one of them win. I know one of them. Yeah, one of them fellas is inside or dead or something. I don't know, but he's back out. Thing is, I knows him. Quite well. He robbed a bank in Valentine a couple weeks back. Happened to hold me hostage while he was doing it. But he was oh. holding the wrong man hostage because I used to do the same thing, see? So I helped them out. Oh. Who'd you help out? Cattleman. Oh. Kind of helped him out, get out of there alive. No, things went oh. smoothly. Right. But you and kill me they prince because they stabbed you, right? Mm. Correct. They stabbed you? He said Correct. that last time. Yeah. Well, this was before. It's all right. 
Yes, sir. So the man so. stabbed me, and the man is uh, also just a psychopath. Uh. He is um, obsessive, uh, psychopathic, and uh, acts on impulse and with no logical thought. Is he uh, dangerous? Is he a Mexican filler? Is that the main one, Jack Kittleman? Is he the what? Is he Mexico? Uh, Me- no. 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 He might <laughs> pretend to be if he's trying to hide. Uh, no, he's he does not. wear a part show quite often. I'm, I, we met a guy, one of the Kilmans. I, I don't know if his name was Johnny or I don't know the names of all of them, but we ran into one. So I'm guessing the reason you guys don't like one another is because of this moonshine business. Is that right? I thought it's because you got stabbed. Well, that is well, but I think it's got something to do with the moonshining. He used to run moonshine for us. He used to be on the same side of the bar as you are now, and we would be having this conversation about tasting moonshine. Yeah. But one day, I, I got uh, he came in here discussing, and he had a he had heat with someone else who was at the bar, one of the patrons, and I told him to watch his tone, and the man stabbed me. Oh, shit. Uh, really? It's just, it's really, it's really just been his uh, impulsive behavior this whole time that has been steering this into a fire. It seems like he's about to have an empire of dust if he keeps uh, making enemies of everybody, especially the ones who's on the other side of the law, like he is. Correct. He ain't gonna have no friends. That's exactly what's happening. His world is burning around him and he has nowhere to grab, so he goes to jail. Yep. <laughs> I've met people like Catman before. Eventually, he'll run out of places. He'll run out of ideas, and he'll run out of friends to go to. He'll have no one but himself. It's sad, but true. The thing is, I have experience with people like Catman. I don't think he's necessarily bad. I just think he's been uh, put in the wrong place, and he's going down the wrong uh, path. If you ever have the opportunity to get involved with him, I suggest that you don't. Um, the man, the man drugged and lit a woman on fire in the middle of the square in Blackwater. What a shit. Yes. So yeah. I don't know if that's, um, I was still going to say he's a bad person. Well, yes, I didn't know that. Yeah. Daddy? Yeah, it seems like uh, Hello? we're getting we're getting Hello? ourselves. I mean, a lot of people real quick. It sounds like because when we met him, we met him at a very tense moment recently, and uh, it could have turned into a gunfight, but it didn't. But you know, so far I don't like the way he is, the way he operates, the way he carries Hello, himself with the people. I don't like either. Hello, what can I get for you? Howdy, friend. I can't hear you if you're talking. Can't hear you, friend. Gotta speak up. I know there's a lot of dead bodies in here. You ain't gotta be scared. We ain't gonna shoot you. Well, we may. I guess. I think he's in shock. Mm-hmm. Can't hear you if you're trying to say something. No, there's a lot of bodies around here. <laughs> it ain't what you think, right? You can speak. We didn't kill these men. I did. Um, Cougar came in and killed them all. While we was drinking. Sorry, no, I killed them because they tried to shoot me. Yes, we can hear you. I was about to ask what the hell happened in there. The thing that usually happens. Ah. A pecker head gets pissed, pulls his gun out, and then everybody starts shooting. Yes. A drink? And what should we say to that? Is your name Alexander? I think so. I've met you before. Nope. What's his name? Michael. Michael what? Rowe. Michael Rowe. I ain't seen you before then. I was wrong. 
Nice to meet you, Michael Rowe. My name's Caleb West. This to my left here is Connor Creek. Uh, well, I, I didn't you realize you all couldn't hear me. It's all right. A pleasure to meet the two of you. Uh, can I get a whiskey, Pick? Yes, of course you can. When did he say this train was coming back? It should be uh, any time now. They've probably gone all the way across the goddamn crossing at this rate. Uh, train operator said he was going to do a couple rounds, so I assume they'll be back. There you go. All right, fellas, I must go rest my head. No but worries. Thank you. Thank you for your uh, help and your information. Mm -hmm. Every time. And the whiskey, uh, grab anything you'd like from behind the bar. And if anybody gives you any trouble, tell them that the barman said it was allowed. Yeah, all right, we'll make sure to leave a couple of dollars behind the bar for you. Appreciate it. Have a safe trip back. Likewise. You know what, kind of, I don't mind that man at all. I think he's a real nice man. He ain't bad. He's nice. But I think we've, uh... <laughs> Overstayed or welcome over here. I think we should uh, maybe just head back. We got a long walk. Well, as we can wait for the train. Yeah, it was a wait for the train then. Well, that sounds right. Oh, good. Uh... <laughs> he was Steal yet. some horses. I mean, if we, we have to. We could. I'll wait for the train a little bit because I think it's going to be here soon. I gotta find Henry though. Still, because we Henry? didn't. Oh it. shit! Yeah, he's in Saint Denis. He's injured, right? He's uh, he's at the doctor's house. Yeah, I'm gonna ask him real quick. And deep hard in myself. Excuse me. Oh. Oh. Sorry, sorry, I don't know whose horse this is, but... That's my horse. You know who's, uh... You guys know Henry? He was just inside. He got shot earlier. Yes, yes. Do you know when he might be back here? Probably. I, well, he had a gut shot. It's not looking good. It's not good. Isabella took him. I don't know where she took him. Either Valentine or Sandy Nay. Fair enough. I think probably. I'm fine. I'll wait here around for a bit. I know there's gonna be a train here soon. Maybe, should we maybe go to uh, St. Denis and see how Henry is? I mean, he was hurt real bad. Well, he did get gut shot, and we just got a long walk there. Uh, I see a horse back here. So, yeah, I'm saying let's steal a horse. I right, get on. Come on. Damn, let's go. Come on, horse. I'm going to where the sun burns in the heat stays in command from a little bit. Right here. Yeah, Henry. To where the river turns to dust. 